What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of A-Ben's Fishing. Today, once again, it is just me, myself, and I on a solo mission. I primarily have some amazing bait that's called Atlantic Menhaden, aka Bunker for my nor'easters. And I got 24 because my, my well is only like 25 gallons, so they're very hard to keep alive. So I'm hoping they stay alive. I did happen to get some croaker with them, like three, and a couple mohara. But the primary bait is some bunker. They're perfect snook size. So we're going to be going for a snook with live bait. Might throw some artificials. I'm very excited about today's video. Before we get into it, excuse my deep breathing. I just threw the net for a while. I am going to be doing a huge giveaway on this channel when we hit 5,000 subscribers. And all you have to do to be entered in the giveaway is be subscribed. I will announce more about that as we get closer to our goal. Right now we're about halfway there, but it is going to be epic and it is going to be worth it. And all you have to do is subscribe. It is free to do so. So please, please, please hit that button so you can be entered in the giveaway. There may be some reels, there may be some rods, there may be some gear, or there may be all of the above. Anyways, guys, I'm going to shut up. Let's get into the video. Let's get a line in the water. Alright y'all, we're pulling up to our first spot. You may or may not have seen this spot in some recent videos. There's some dirt on my water bottom that likes to dial in a specific area and hit it hard and then I leave it. I'm not gonna just keep fishing the same area. But I've been on a really good bite pattern. So no reason to not continue that. I've been getting my butt kicked, so I want some vengeance. But yeah, let's let's see what we can make happen right now. Giant snook on. He got it. There's so many snook under here, guys. There's so many. There's so many. Small baby. Where's the mama? Look at that baby. Got her. She's coming. Got her. Not that small. This one. Finally got a decent one out of there. I knew there was something in there. Took you a little bit, girl. Nice, man. Beautiful fish. I took 26, 27. Let's send her back on her way. Go, girl. Something's on its tail. And I mean, there just might be some big post-spawn overslot fish feeding right here. I know the mullet have been here because I've been netting some here and there. So obviously there's a huge school here. This is a cool area because it's about one to two feet up on the shoreline under the mangroves, but it drops, which is why they're able to keep boats like the one next to me here. It's a big old yacht I've been fishing. So you got a lot of different types of terrains for fish to utilize. You've got shallow waters, You've got mangrove lines for shadows, cooler water. You've got boats with depth for more shallow or for deeper, cooler water and coverage. I mean, you've got it all. So, Thank you. 
All right, guys, shut the camera off for two seconds. Was trying to get my bait under this yacht. Basically, heard a blow up, turned around, pitched my bunker, got wrecked. Huge fish, strip drag, wasn't recording. Now I have a bunker out on the back side of the boat. Very large specimen. I don't know if it's Jack or Snook. It's one of the two. I'd be willing to put a lot of money on that. What, what hit me off camera felt like a huge freaking snook. Jack are more erratic. The way they run is different. This thing like thunked it. And until I reeled tight, didn't even move. Then when I reeled tight, she woke up and she said, I'm out. And uh, yeah, that was that. There it is. Oh, oh, eat it again. On, on again. Off. On again. Good snug. Really good snug. It is snug. Really good snug. I knew there was a good one in there. Yes, dude. Daddy. She wants to run. She's running. She's doing her runs. I'm right on the gill and I'm already afraid, so I'm trying to play it really light. Okay, this thing is awake. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, dear. Yes. Boys and girls, that is about a 33 inch, maybe 32, maybe it'll give or take one or two inches. Beautiful fish, boss, super freaking hard. Look at this thing, absolute specimen. I'm gonna let her go and uh, let's try and get another one. Look at that. Good freaking fish, dude. She's ready. She's off. Switch our hook out and we're gonna switch our hook out and do it again. This one is uh it's on its last life, that's for sure. If anybody wants to know what kind of hook I'm using, today I'm using a wider gap. It's an octopus inline 5-0 red circle hook. I've always felt the red can make a difference. So far the hook's doing pretty well. not going to change. I was considering changing to a J-hook. I'm using a Shimano Tranks 401HG on a custom North Fork built rod by my buddy Steve at North Fork Bait and Tackle. And uh, Beyond Raid. 30 pound Bahama Blue on Beyond Braid 40 pound Pink Floral. That knot ain't breaking for nothing. We're gonna try a croaker. We're just gonna try it. When there's a bite like this, if there's bait in mullet schools and these fish are eating at the bottom and it's, you know, got some depth, a croaker can be the, the greatest thing on earth. It's crazy, man. I hear stuff so deep in these mangroves and because the tide's coming in and it's been really high, they have way more water. Like I'm hearing stuff like six, seven feet back in there. You definitely can't hear it on the camera, but that just goes to show how far up those grove lines these fish are chasing this bait. I mean, it's madness. I'm hearing like blow ups. I'm gonna let Rodney do some work here with this croaker. I'm gonna throw a bunker up on the shoreline. Not good for my cause. These snook are slaughtering mullet. 
way up there. I mean, slaughtering. Oh my God. They're slaughtering them. Here we go. No way I don't get one. Called that. Good fish too. Oh my God, giant. Oh, I'm so glad I was on this rock. Freaking giant. Dude, absolute freaking tank. Oh my God. No. Right there. He was right there. Dude. Too much heat. I should have played it light. God, that was a giant, man. That was an air. That was a 42, 43. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. That's just snook fishing. That's solo snook fishing is actually what that is. God, that fish was gigantic. I could have had it, man. I. I I'm so mad at myself. I'm so mad at myself. The troller gave out. That's how hard that fish was pulling. Dude, I cannot believe I just lost that fish. I turned it away from the grove line. And then I thought I had it because I was so locked down. So many mistakes just happened, guys. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Comment. Comment if you can relate. Ease my pain, man. Solidarity is important. That was a freaking absolutely gigantic fish. I mean, that fish was out of this world. My fault. My fault. Solo, what are you gonna do? I shouldn't I shouldn't have got the net. I should have just trusted that I would fight that fish light. This one's fighting ridiculously hard for a little guy. He must have got fouled. Oh, he's not that small. Oh, that's not small at all. Thought it was like 16 inches. This thing just choked it. They're just changing. Right, initially, I was seeing tons of snook here on the yacht. Then I was seeing them out, out in the middle. And now I'm seeing them under the yacht again. Saw a bunch of mullet run out of there like their lives depended on, which they probably did. So, let's see.
I'm gonna do something dumb again. I gotta retie this. Cause that one took a lot of leader. Dude. Oh my god, there are giants up there. Let's retie. Oh my god. Come on. Giant. No, oh, no, it's not giant. It's this big. I mean, it's big. Thank god the drag was tight. There are so many snuck out. Rodney did his job, baby. Ah, it's not huge. I mean, it's it's almost. Guys, this rod is this rod is built for power. I feel like a freaking bass fisherman. There we go, that is a good fish, man. On a tiny little mohara. Beautiful fish on a little mohara. Rodney did his job. Let's get a nice quick release. Let's retire. And we made a new one. I'm literally dropping a dead bait and it's getting annihilated. That's a big snook. Oh no, it's small. He finally got it. Ah, it's not small. I keep calling him small. I mean, that's not small at all. Whew, wow. This one wanted that bait so bad. It was a dead bait. It's actually a really big snook. I mean, not big, like probably 28. Go back. Wild, man. Wild. <laughs>